Hello Keller Williams, it's Fred Moore here with another command tutorial. In today's video, I'm just going to be talking about how do we get our zip form account connected to DocuSign. So one thing I want to show you here is I'm going to log in through uh, an opportunity and go into DocuSign, into one of my dummy accounts here. Let's go in, start a transaction. And we're going to open up DocuSign this way. We'll go ahead and log in as normal. And now what we're going to do on the right hand side, we're going to add and then zip form. So what the first time it's going to say is ask you to actually log in. Right. So when you log in here, it's going to ask you for a username and password. Immediately what you're going to think is my same username and password for um, logging into command. That is not actually the case. So what I'm going to do is show you the steps and how to actually get your account set up. So I'm opening up zipformplus.com here. You may already have a username and password that you know, uh, but in case you don't, what we're going to do is sign in to our free account here using our nar.realtor credentials here. So it's going to give us an attention. That's okay. We're going to continue because it's going to bring us into a different site here. Once this go ahead and loads, it's going to ask you for your username and password for the National Association of Realtors login information. Go ahead and type that in and sign in. All right, once we go ahead and log in, what we're going to see here is our zip form account. So I'm going to go ahead and close this pop up. And the first thing I want to do is head up into my account settings. So I'm going to click on me and bring the drop down and profile and settings. From profile and settings at the top, I'm going to see sign in and security. And then I'm going to see my username. If this is the first time you're logging in, it may not be this case. It may be some random characters. So you can go ahead and change your username now or anytime in the future. So you wanna make it something that you will remember. And then at the bottom, you wanna make sure that there's a valid email address associated with it. If you do not have one, it's gonna ask you to input one, then validate it, it'll shoot you an email. Go ahead and validate that email from there. So now I have my username and my email. Now I can go ahead and hit reset password. It don't happen to know my password. So what we're going to do is hit cancel. Instead of hitting reset password, what I'm going to do is make sure I save this and make any changes. It'll be lit up here for me to hit save in the top left hand corner. And then I'm going to sign out. So I'm gonna hit me and then sign out. Sign back in. And it should bring me back to my zip form plus. So on this screen, instead of hitting my blue icon here, it just below that forgot password. It's going to ask me for my username here. And then I'm going to hit send. And now we had an email address added in there. So I'm going to send it to my email. I'm going to hit next. And it's giving me an update here that within the next 15 minutes, I'll have a link. All right, so then once you have your new password all set up, you're ready to go. So what we're going to do is from here, once our password is set up, we're gonna head back into our DocuSign and it's going to ask us again for our username and password. So inside my zip forms, again, it's going to be my username, the password we just created. So my username and password would come in the screen. I hit sign in and that'll bring us right here to now where it says link room. So we're connected, you won't have to do that again, it's going to save every single time you go to log in. So now I'm here, I'm gonna add some zip form files. So from here, I'm gonna hit create. Now I have an address associated with it that was selected in my opportunity here. You'll see that this information came over. Is it a listing or is it a purchase? Go with purchase and then select property type, residential. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. 
from here, do we, we're going to select, select, I'm sorry, link um, our zip form library, or you can do a link transaction. We want to select the zip form library in this case, because we don't have an existing zip form folder to, to deal with. And now what we're going to see is our associations and documents that were all within zip forms. So I have Connecticut Association of Realtors in this case, Greater New Haven, a few others from NAR and my smart MLS. So I have Connecticut Association of Realtors. In this case, there's no real way to actually search for the documents. What I could do because I'm in Chrome, I can simply click on the three little buttons at the top right and hit find and then type in the information that I'm looking for. So let's say it's the purchase and sale agreement. So if I just type in purchase, hit the down arrows, it'll cycle through for me until I can get the right one that I'm looking for. So real estate purchase contract, let's say. So let's go ahead and select that and you'll hit add from there. One thing you'll notice a little bit different is you have ZFX, so zip form document here, versus if we added in a DocuSign form, it would say form. It's gonna work the same way as a DocuSign form would though. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Note that you do need to add some information in here for you to move on to your envelope. The address again has come over, but we wanna make sure we add some buyer's name, and we'll add a seller's name. And you would add the information as needed all the way through. And then we wanna make sure it's top left here, instead of the top right where we'd say save and close, we're gonna hit save. Make sure this document is saved. And then we can close out of it. It's gonna give us this pop out. If you have made changes to this form without saving, return. We're just going to continue. Now, just like a DocuSign form or a PDF, we're gonna select the little circle and hit the DocuSign pen and move into our envelope. You can do your DocuSign envelope name here. So this is the real estate purchase contract. I'm going to add my recipients. Again, we're always trying to use pre-tagged roles in this case. So we have buyer one, two, and seller one, two. Let's go ahead and select a buyer and a seller. Add selected, and it'll bring in my contacts. Again, this is the same as we would for a DocuSign form. I'm gonna hit next to go into the edit screen within the envelope. Again, we'll see that the form is flat, but the information we typed in is here. And also, because we use pre-tagged roles, we're going to see initials and signatures already populated here for us. That way we don't have to do it manually. If we had used room participants or email address, these would not be here and we would have to manually add them. So similar to DocuSign forms, zip forms are going to work the same way. If you'd like to see more detail, check out our other video on DocuSign basics, compliance, and commissions. But for now, that's it for today. If you have any questions, as always, leave a comment, shoot me a message. Any questions you have, I'll be happy to help. But hit that like button, hit the subscribe for new videos every day, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.